have some fun tonight? Woo! All right. Can everybody see that I don't have any legs? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Yes. Because when I go outside, a lot of times people just come up to me and they'll be like, you don't have any legs. And then I have to do this. Where'd they go? <laughs> Racism is a reason why white people don't have their own month. <laughs> Work with me here. Black people have Black History Month, Latinos have a Heritage Month, Asians have a Heritage Month. What do my white brothers and sisters have on the calendar? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You don't have a Caucasian Awareness Week or a Crack Appreciation Day or <laughs> White Arrow or Honky <laughs> A wrist reminder, a saltine shake? Nothing. Some of y'all are laughing. Some of you are like, this nigga has gone too far. Tell me, when was the last time you, ch you chased after your dreams children go running after their dogs when they've gone too far off their leash clear. When the sky is clear outside, there is a boy who puts his worn out Mekis on and does parkour. Parkour! The art de déplacement is an athletic discipline, a sport in which men can travel any environment in the most efficient way possible using only the human body. This most commonly involves running, jumping, vaulting, rolling, etc, etc, etc. He has wind in his veins. How does John get his homework done? <laughs> Ronnie does it. I do it. He does your homework. You do John's homework. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna say yes like that. All right. Okay. And one day you'll get a job. Okay. She thinks she's so special because she's a doctor. You have done more with your GED than she will ever do with her PhD, okay? And she's thinking she's a humanitarian too because she volunteers to help needy children. You've been buying your clothes at the Goodwill for 10 years, Gina. Okay? Who is the saint around here? And if my ears had smiled, they would, for I had heard it all. She promised me forevermore without getting involved. Dogs evolve from thoughts like this, but I'm not one to bark. How could I offer pleas to her who offers me her heart? I've seen this pain myself before. I know that it could kill her. Imagine what could come to me if I became the giver of scorn. She warns of my departure, but it's better that I leave. I don't see how she loves a man who can't return the deed. So use me is what she said to me, and still, I couldn't do it. I vowed to never break her heart if I cannot renew. Thing. And I really mean this when I tell people this. Um, be attracted to yourself to live a life full of love. If there's anything that's most important, it's building your own self-esteem and your self-image when you go out and talk to people. Don't get bogged down by the various advice and tips that you get from different people. Just focus on you first and everyone else will love you. Find, search, dream, execute, bust your arms out of socket and have a presence because Gandhi's message was not a mantra, but a warning. Be the change you want to see in the world because no one else is coming. They've lost our addresses. We don't live close enough to the sponsors to be on MapQuest. We'll have to MacGyver our way with a paperclip, an old shoe, and a battery because God will give you the gift. God will give you the gift, but you'll never know what it is unless you open it. If I had a nickel for every time I saw a woman as beautiful as you, I would have five cents. Oh, oh yeah. There's a serious song about how I touch your lips, how I breathe your hand. And baby, if you were ever in need, you know that I'd be there. He said, what? You what? Don't come back talking like you want your job. I said, I don't want the job. I said, I negotiated a better deal across the street. I said, you, 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 you got slave labor around here. It's hot. You're not offering any water, ants. I mean, what's going on? And at that point, young people, I knew I was going to be a successful businessman. How cool would it be if every time we had something that we knew we wanted to do or we knew that we should do, but we're kind of afraid to take that first step. How cool would it be if we actually had someone who was attached to us at those critical moments to make us take that first step? It's deep. But we don't. So it's on us to step outside of 
our, our own comfort zone and to do things that that stretch us. Ever been to the Golds, Jim? They're serious lifters there, man. They got matching costumes, <laughs> Under Armour tight pants with the black Under Armour shirt with the cut off arms so you can see their muscles. This one guy was helping me out. And he got well, like really intense on me. He was like, come on, push it out harder. You're not pushing hard enough. Push harder, push harder, work it harder, son. Come on, you're almost there. Extend your arms, work harder, work harder. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. And I'm like, whoa. I'm just stretching here, dude. One day, you guys are gonna do something nice for somebody and they're not gonna say thank you. They're not gonna recognize you. They're not gonna give you reward. But because of that, does that mean you don't serve? Does that mean that you don't give? Every single last one of us has an obligation to give, has an obligation to serve. That's what we put on this earth, is to help each other out. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in the game, I like to recap what's been going on so far. This young lady selected a card, signed her name to it, and shuffled it into the middle of the deck. She's been in possession of the card since that time. I'm gonna count to three. When I get to three, I want you to throw the cards at the balloon, hitting this spot right here. It's gonna be a nice, easy, underhanded toss. Don't go crazy. I'm going to get myself into position. Is that your card? And is that your signature on it? It is! Give her a big round of applause! And now I'm gonna give you a final exam! Then we're done! Final exam is this! The answer? One word! It's mine! M-I-N-E! I wanna hear you scream it as Yoda comes with the questions. Ready? Whose education is this? Mine! Say it louder! Whose dream career is this? Mine! Say mine, damn it! Whose life is this now? Mine! Then do your thing. That's my showcase, everybody! Thanks so much! For